Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Getting that. Oh, make sure to get, uh, make sure to get this one over here. Oh, yeah, I got that one. Got it. Got it. Got it. Ooh, this one down here looks good. Oh, yeah. I can get that one. Yes, today we are talking about the wild world of NFTs, which we have uh, discussed before on the channel, our video a while back about NFTs when there was, you know, kind of a dawn of them on the music and art market and there was kind of a hype train behind them. Uh, my feelings and my thoughts on NFTs generally were pretty hopeful and still to this day, I'm not really against in concept the idea of an independent an artist within their uh, a very small, passionate community of fans minting a few NFTs to sell uh, individually and specifically to the uh, uh, crowd of people that they cater to. But of course, like all things crypto, that is not what NFTs have snowballed into. They have turned into something much larger, griftier, and shittier. And one of the biggest cultural developments in the NFT world uh, since I did that video has been the the Bored Ape Yacht Club, basically a NFT community centered around uh, these uh, really weird, dumb looking, uh, randomized ape pictures, which thinking about it, I guess it only makes sense that we would eventually arrive to this point because NFTs as a whole are not really so much about uh, the art or the quality of the art, but really more the sellability of it or how much money it's making. So of course, that's going to take precedent over how good the art is at the end of the day. And if you want a lot of people buying into this stuff, you need a market. You need a lot of people participating in that market. And in order to get a lot of people participating in this internet-based market, you need something that is going to appeal widely to a whole lot of different people. Uh, so that means usually like something that's very watered down, lowest common denominator, uh, preferably cheap to produce as well. So, uh, so yeah, we have landed essentially on these ugly random apes that have a bunch of repeated features and characteristics spread out over thousands and thousands and thousands of these dumb, totally not unique and hideous little graphics. Now, as further proof that the art coming out of this community is uh, utter shit, recently the Bored Apes uh, came out with their own animated cartoon show, like the animation in this video, which we will link you to down below is piss the voice acting is shit and uh the whole concept and uh storyline is utter trash and garbage believe me spare yourselves uh the pain and anguish of watching this if you can but believe me when i say it's only going to be a matter of time before this like shit spills over into the music world in a kind of big way there's already been an announcement that a, a bored ape band has been signed to a major lord knows what the quality of their music is going to sound like but i have a track here for you guys today that uh, might give us a bit of insight into that. It is this song over here from Mr. Black and G Project, who are two electronic music producers that have essentially been paid by the Desperate Ape Wives... Do I really need to explain what that is? <laughs> so the Desperate Ape Wives are sort of a community within the Bored Ape community because, uh, hey, you know what? There are ladies in the world of Bored Apes and they need a little lady ape love. They need a little lady ape representation. You gotta love the name because if you are choosing to be an ape wife, you are voluntarily on a path of desperation for sure. But yeah, uh, apes are super cool, but where are the ladies? You know, of course we have... Uh, a nun ape lady and a, a Wilma Flintstone ape lady, a Queen of England ape lady. Oh, and we have Marge Simpson and a Lois ape <laughs> lady. <laughs> God, these things are hideous. The Mona Lisa! With signature red lips, each ape wife is not only an awesome fine art JPEG, uh, that's a very 2021 term, a fine art JPEG. Waiter, your finest boxed wine. It's also an exclusive Desperate Ape Wife membership card that allows access to members-only benefits, which will be revealed over time. Well, right now I can tell you guys one benefit, and that is uh, being a part of a community that now has an Electro House anthem as its... Uh, 
anthem and there's even a music video for this thing my god so let's take a listen to this jam and see what exactly the desperate ape wife community is uh, treating us to on the musical end uh bam all ape wives are hot but some of them are supermodels desperate ape wives just want to have fun you know what they say we come for the art. We stay for the community. The community. <laughs> Desperate ape boys wanna have fun. Nobody leaves till the party's done. Desperate ape boys under the sun. Looking for bananas just to have fun. If you wanna ape in, enter your pen. The drop, bro. That dirty, filthy, Ape drop. Yeah, you know, you gotta love these spoken word lyrics. You gotta love that build. You gotta love that driving beat and all of the, uh, you know, the <laughs> I really feel like I'm a part of the community. I really feel like I wanna shell out thousands and thousands of dollars to uh, buy into this stuff. Just, just, just to get into the vibe, man. I feel like you haven't lived until you've like, you know, cuffed a desperate ape wife. Here's a comment down here from Nick. I can't believe Fantano said this was the best song of 2021. I, I in fact did. I did. This is, this is really my 2021 jam of the year. <laughs> It's an ape thing, you can't get it It's real, you can't fake it It's an ape thing, and if you want it You gotta <laughs> till you make it <laughs> I'm getting all sweaty I'm getting sweaty thinking of this beat Thinking of these desperate ape wives I really felt that when she said she stays for the community But she comes for the art Because this art is about to make me come. You gotta Ha 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 